Okay, okay, wait, Chris. This Chris, is the point. Those are conditions to, before going for a competition, yes. no doubt. Yes. But does it mean that when Nigeria is coming out to play, does it now mean Libya will look less of us? No, and not, and not, and because we're more motivated? Yeah, because no, we're more motivated. I, I, I don't I think didn't so. Say, I, didn't, I didn't say only that. I talked about the motivation aspect. I also talked about the coaching crew. Yeah. I also talked about preparation. I also talked about how the officials, you know, to tell these boys, you know, what they tell them. Okay, Chris, so this, there, there are okay. times really that I think we, we, over, we sensationalize the idea of preparing teams for national assignments. It's only in Nigeria here that we camp a national team for a month, two, three. For a competition. It's not done anywhere just because the national, the NFF and uh, everyone in charge has direct access to pick these players from their football clubs and the clubs can't complain because the national teams pay them more than the clubs right. pay them. Because so you just let them go. The and because national, the players want to play for the national team, mm -hmm. it's not done anywhere. Okay, let's take the World Cup for instance. The club sites finish in May, right? In, in top European leagues, they end it in May and then they have June, let's say three maximum maximum they have 28 days to prepare for the world cup mm. and that these are guys who are coming from the national team from their football club sites now they still have a week though to spend with their families before moving to the national team camps and preparing for the world that which right. makes them have at about three weeks now the league ended in november this most of these guys have gone through 38 or 36 or 35 rigorous football games and journeys in Nigeria and had the whole of December and two more weeks in January. I think it's enough time to prepare if we're not about to sensationalize the whole matter. Yeah. I think no. these guys have enough time. The adrenaline is still in them and they, you, they still have the firepower. It is also an opportunity for saying, them to market are you, themselves what are you saying, globally what are and continentally. That, now, what you're secondly, saying is that our, our, the history we have in this country about preparation that it is we, we sensationalize it, but, but is what I'm saying. Level, it is saying? sensationalized. For the it doesn't level look of like preparation it. for this competition, yeah. going to Pretoria, the facilities they use in South Africa, is not that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad. For how see, long? The, the, when, was the, I, I, when, when did the league I, end in Nigeria? The league ended in November. In November? Yes. And then you, you the camp opened on, on, the, on December 14th. Yes. Same players that were and competitive then, in the and league. And then most of and them have You have an idea that some of the players, like the player from Lobby Stars, Guadebo, he could not get his visa. Just two to... of them. No, no, it's Just two of them. These and are, these are, these these are protocol issues. These are issues that have to do with unpreparedness. Chris. You know a player is, you know you are going for but, a competition. But, but, but you, did not co you did not submit the, remember, the player's passport remember, until about two, some days. Chris, but remember, it doesn't Samson mean that Sansi is the only player. Sansi was with the team, team mentioned, in Portaco. You mentioned Sansi played Europe, the qualifiers of the you, team. You remember okay. Look, look, the, the, the you, that, there is that part. There is that part that Sansi played. You have the same facilities. You have the same people, the same officials, like people in Europe. Okay, wait. But you can't. No, don't. But, but you can't. But you can't. But you can't go. You can't compare European standard to what we have. That's what he's trying to do. That's, that's look, <laughs> look. I, 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 only, I only brought it in. It I, I only chipped it in. You because, say three weeks. Please, please. You have, we have you had. Have, we have you had, have had a month. Facilities these guys have. Please, it doesn't. Okay, let's run through the fixtures. How many facilities let's run do you have? The let's run let's run how many? How many grass pitches? How many grass pitches do you have in Nigeria? Let's run. How many? You have up to two. Okay, that's all right. But Let's in Europe, in, fixtures, Europe, in a country in Europe, you have fixtures, like... That's the fixtures for the 2016 African Nations Championship. Uh, group A, we have Rwanda taking on Cote d'Ivoire, while Gabon, we play Morocco. The competition will kick off tomorrow in Rwanda. And that's a competition that, yeah, we like the fact that it's already getting us talking, so we're waiting. Uh, let's see the fixtures for Group B. Uh, Nigeria, we play on Monday. That's the right of big Group B. Uh, fixtures, Congo, DR, we take on Ethiopia. Angola, we play Cameroon. It's the 2016 African Nations Championship and in Group C, Tunisia will take on Guinea, Nigeria will play Niger. So by the time Nigeria plays Niger on Monday, we will be able to come back and uh, see if Chris will have a different perspective about this thing because I know Nigerians will say all sorts, but it's about winning and then when they win, we'll actually be able to attest if the preparations was um, good or not. But let's leave the Afghan, the 2016 African Nations Championship. Let's talk about uh, some football management, the transfers and the movements that we're having. We told you that John Obu has joined Quara United, who is moving again. Benga Ogumbote. No more with 3SC. Is now, yeah, well, that's the update. Uh, Quara United will, will unveil John Obu tomorrow in Ilorin. Uh, we've said that uh, it's a good one. He has what it takes to turn around uh, the fortunes of the team after dropping to the NNL.
But the update on the Goomba thing is that he has now joined Giwa FC. I'll get you talking about that one. Um, Tolu had a decent um, outing with Tracy uh, as they just concluded season. With Giwa, you can get better. I think if you call it decent, you are really Fantastic. downplaying it. Fantastic. I think he did well. He took Tracy from bottom to far clear away from relegation. And it looked like they were going to do something. They just looked comfortable. But the problem is, look, Giwa changed managers too many times last season and the season before. Uh, it tells you that maybe things are not just all that as well as it may seem. But in terms of technical know-how and ability, Benga Ogumbota is one of the managers in Nigeria who stand high up there. Mm. He knows his onions. Mm. He's proven it. He has a track record from Sunshine Stars. He didn't stay too long at Sharks. But hey, this is uh, uh, him at uh, 3SE again, showing you that he can pick a team out from nowhere. And interestingly, he always has the confidence of the players everywhere he goes to. They want to play for him. That's right. They believe in him. Hmm. And then he knows just how to get his team to win. He understands the terrain. Hmm. Look, Giwa have come agonizingly close twice now, consecutive seasons, to qualifying for uh, the Calf Confederation Cup. Hmm. With Benga Ogumbote at the helms, and with the support of the proprietor, Chris Gewa, I think that they can just achieve that him next season. That's right. And it's not, it's not looking unattainable. I think it's something realistic for them with a man of Benga Ogumbote's caliber. I think he's, he knows the right players to bring him to compete at the top level, and he will do just that. That's right. That's that is the minimum requirement, and that is the minimum standard I will be certain for him, really. Okay. Because I think he will do it. All right, Benga Ogumbata moving to Giwa FC. Let's still stay uh, with the league. The league management company, they've announced that the league will kick off on February the 21st. But some teams are already busy. Um, that's right, United and Niger Tornadoes, they are on pre-training, um, pre-season training in Ilori. And today there was a friendly game that was played. Niger Tornadoes and Nassara United played a 1-1 one -one draw. It was a good game. And um, Chris... The season yet to start, but teams are getting ready. That's another good one to say that the league is getting better. Yeah, but um, the teams must get ready. It's a normal thing. And, um, you know, the, the issue with our league is that these coaches, you're talking about Gumbote, you're talking about uh, John Obdate, keep recycling the coaches. And then you see, you ask yourself, why is the league in the doldrums? Because this, 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 you don't, you, there are some, I'm not saying that some of these coaches are not good, like Ogumbote, like he said, yeah. has been there for a long time. Mm. Was in Sunshine, he did well, went to Sharks and all that. But it's, mm. it, it doesn't stop at that. Yeah. The book doesn't stop there. You ask yourself, why have the uh, uh, LMC, the league management, not looked at some of these? Now they are saying, they, let me give you an instance. They are saying that any team that's owing players, will not be registered for a 2016 uh, um, um, season. But at the end of the day, you find out that these teams have a way of going back to the same officials and uh, you know, doing one or two magic. And you see those teams owing billions. As I'm talking to you, Nigerian players and coaches and money uh, officials are being owed billions, not even millions. But the is doing well. Cali Pilas is doing no, well. My brother, look. Let well, let's talk about the teams that are doing well. No, we're we're not not that are doing well. These, play, about... these teams are owing players billions. And at the end of the day, you find out that whatever goes around comes around. Most of them, when you cannot be able to do the right things, you keep recycling coaches. You keep bringing players from here. You may not be able, because the important thing is, after playing that league, we, you do some checks and balances. And how do you do checks and balances? It's going to compete in CAF Champions League. Going to compete in CAF Confederations Cup. What have you achieved when you go out? I don't know if you have, you have listened to what I'm saying. What do you achieve? You are the FHR, you are called uh, Federation Cup champion. You know, now, like Aqua, Aqua, Aqua United. That's right. What would they do in, the, in this season, that, this 2016 season in, in, in Africa? You are in him, but you won the, uh, the, 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 the league. league. Mm -hmm. What will you do in 2006 sure, Cup Champions League? I'm sure the plan is, is to it, go there it's not, and do well. When was the last time we won a cup in the continent? That's what you ask yourself. That's when was the last time? Last time. NMC should not be there just to give rules and talk about and players moving and all that. Talk about things that they cannot uh, implement. They should be able to look at go to the drawing board, if they're sending drawing board, go to the drawing board and look at why we cannot compete against teams in Africa. 
That's right. I'm, I'm we'll sure. We know why I'm, our players are being old I'm sure. I'm sure. Let I'm, us look at those things. I'm sure. I'm Very sure. objectively. Uh, that's the point. That's yes. the point. And we've said that the LMC shouldn't be scared to step on toes. That when the new season starts, we want to see something different. Thank you so much, Chris, for coming around. It's right. my pleasure. Always. My pleasure. So when the 2016 my African pleasure. Nations Championship kicks off, we all remember Chris, particularly <laughs> when the Super Eagles starts the way. Thank you so much for coming around. And that's Thank it. Um, so much to still talk about. We'll talk about the um, English Premier League. We'll talk about how Johnny Alonso still on fire and then we're getting ready for the australian open action packed sort of sports don't go anywhere we'll be right back stay